So when my family asked me what I wanted for Father's Day this year, I replied, like most hardworking dads would. Simple, really. Uh, nothing big. Just want to spend 24 hours living like a lord of the manor in my own castle. I have to say, when I asked my kids for the ultimate Father's Day gift, I had no idea they would pull this off. Do my kids come through or what? Ashford Castle was established in 1228 by the Anglo-Norman House of Burke. Over the centuries, uh, this medieval castle has changed hands through battles, marriages, and purchases. In the mid-1800s, the Guinness family acquired the property, adding two large Victorian-style extensions and 2,600 acres of trees. Today, Ashford Castle is an incredible five-star luxury resort on the shore of Loch Corrib in Western Ireland. A long list of presidents, monarchs, sheiks, and movie stars have stayed here over the years. And now, history hosts. Sinjin, bring my car. Irish wolfhounds were bred as massive hunting dogs. The name originates from their purpose, wolf hunting, rather than their appearance. Today, they're considered the tallest of all dog breeds, although the Great Dane is the heaviest. The breed is thousands of years old, originally developed from a line of warhounds. Ancient texts and woodcuts placed them in Ireland by the third century BC. Survivors of Celt attacks would mention the huge ferocious dogs that fought alongside the warriors. Roman leaders, including Julius Caesar, wrote about the fierce dogs for hundreds of years. In 391 AD, the Roman consul to the region received seven of them as a gift for fighting lions and bears. He wrote, all Rome viewed them with wonder. During the English occupation of Ireland, only the nobility were allowed to own Irish wolfhounds. The higher the position, the more wolfhounds one could own. They were highly coveted and were frequently given as gifts to world leaders and foreign nobles. Wolfhounds were the companions of the elite and were housed alongside them. Today, Irish wolfhounds are centuries removed from the breed that struck fear into the ancient world. Irish wolfhounds are often chosen for their loyalty, affection, patience, and devotion. While no longer considered a hunter or a guard dog, their close affinity with humans makes them very loyal and sensitive to ill will towards their owners. They're still considered excellent personal guardians, and their huge size is still rather imposing. The oldest established falconry school in Ireland operates here on the grounds of Ashford Castle. I will be flying, that's what they call it, this Harris Hawk. Now the ancient and noble art of falconry is a sport which involves the use of trained raptors, birds of prey, to hunt wild game for humans. It's believed falconry originated on the steppes of Asia over 4,000 years ago. In Ireland, there are also ancient roots of falconry. The earliest mention in an Irish text is the life of St. Colman in the 12th century, when the king of Tara is said to have two hunting hawks. Now, over the centuries, firearms have replaced falconry as the more effective means of hunting. Yeah, that's right, you're fired. However, falconry is still a cherished art and will always be known as one of the sports of kings. That's right, you're hired again. You're back on, you and me. We're a team, I'm feeling something here. I can see you with like a side of potatoes, carrots, with a buttery glaze, kind of a marmalade with a roll. Are you ticklish? Are you ready to go fly? All right, let's do this, let's go fly.